Hello future yarn artists, welcome back to Crochet Republic, the ultimate hub for all things yarn and hooks. I'm Chanel, your crochet companion, and today we have a new stitch to add to your arsenal, the double crochet stitch. Whether you're a seasoned crocheter or just starting your yarny journey, mastering the double crochet stitch is a game changer. In this tutorial, we'll be breaking down the steps using British crochet terms, making it easy for everyone to follow along. The double crochet is a fundamental crochet stitch that has been used for centuries in the art of crochet. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things Yarntastic. Let's dive into the tutorial. Let's talk about how to read a written pattern. Part of learning to crochet is learning to read a written pattern. Note that the abbreviation used for double crochet stitches in patterns is DC. You could see an instruction like 6DC. That means you should make six double crochet stitches. You make one double crochet per stitch for the next six stitches. The UK double crochet is known as a single crochet when you are using US crochet terminology. Now let's get our materials together. You will need any smooth, chunky sized yarn in a light color and a five millimeter hook to complete this tutorial. For more information about the hook and yarn, watch our first video about choosing your tools. Let's make a foundation chain to work from. Create a slip knot like you practiced in the earlier tutorials. Then make 10 chain stitches. The chain will form the foundation of the rest of our piece. That's why we call it a foundation chain. Let's practice inserting our hooks. Start by identifying the second chain from the hook. This is the loop that is currently on your hook. This V is the first chain from the hook. This V is the second chain stitch from the hook. This is the stitch that you want to insert your hook into. Notice that the V has two bars or loops that form it. This one is called the front loop because it is closest to your body. This one is called the back loop because it is furthest away from your body. Every stitch you make will have a front loop and a back loop as you see here. You want to insert your hook in between the front loop and the back loop, like this. Double check that you inserted your hook into the second chain stitch from the hook before moving on. Let's yarn over and pull through. Before you yarn over, notice that you appear to have two loops on your hook at the moment. The first is the loop on your hook and the second is the chain stitch you inserted your hook into. You will be pulling your yarn through the chain stitch loop only after you yarn over. We are going to yarn over in exactly the same way that we did it in the chaining tutorial video. That method of yarning over is used in all our videos for all our stitches. Now yarn over and hook the yarn. Twist your hook tip down towards the floor and pull the yarn through the chain stitch loop. Push your hook forward to your starting position with your hook tip pointing at your body again. You again have two loops on your hook. Yarn over once more and pull the yarn through both of the loops on your hook. Congratulations, you have just completed your very first double crochet stitch. Take a moment to feel proud of this achievement. Let's repeat the process we just learned. Let's make another double crochet together. Insert your hook into the next chain stitch. Be careful not to skip one. You now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and hook the yarn. Twist your hook tip down towards the floor and pull the yarn through the chain stitch loop. Push your hook forward to your starting position with your hook tip pointing at your body again. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over once more and pull the yarn through both of the loops on your hook. Push your hook forward back to the starting position. Move your thumb and index finger down the chain so the next chain stitch is visible. Let's do it again. Insert your hook into the next chain stitch. Be careful not to skip one. You now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and hook the yarn. Twist your hook tip down towards the floor and pull the yarn through the chain stitch loop. Push your hook forward to your starting position with your hook tip pointing at your body again. You have two loops on your hook. 
Yarn over once more and pull the yarn through both of the loops on your hook. Push your hook forward back to the starting position. Move your thumb and index finger down the chain so the next chain stitch is visible. One more time. Insert your hook into the next chain stitch. Be careful not to skip one. You now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and hook the yarn. Twist your hook tip down towards the floor and pull the yarn through the chain stitch loop. Push your hook forward for your starting position with your hook tip pointing at your body again. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over once more and pull the yarn through both of the loops on your hook. Push your hook forward back to the starting position. Move your thumb and index finger down the chain so the next chain stitch is visible. Keep repeating this process until you feel comfortable making evenly sized double crochets. The more you practice, the easier it will become. Let's look at a few tips for success with making double crochet stitches. Maintain tension. Keep your yarn tension consistent to create an even fabric. Count your stitches. Count your stitches at the end of each row to ensure accuracy. I like to count as I make each stitch. Practice regularly. The more you practice, the more comfortable and consistent your double crochets will become. And there you have it future yarn artists, we've covered the ABCs of making double crochet stitches and laid the groundwork for countless crochet projects, from the simplest to the most intricate. I hope this guide has set you on the path to crochet success. Stay tuned for more crochet tutorials and inspiration from Crochet Republic as we continue to explore the expansive and creative world of crochet. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Crochet Republic for more crochet tips, tricks and creative projects. Ring that bell to stay updated on all our upcoming yarn fold escapades. Thank you for joining us on this crochet journey. You can also find Crochet Republic on Etsy, Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the introduction below the video for easy access. Handmake with love until we meet again in the Crochet Republic. Bye for now!